Greetings and salutations everyone. New computer parts are here. I made some significant upgrades and I can finally bring you guys full 1080p 60 frames per second videos. So enjoy. I've received several requests over the last couple of months to do a review on Eternal WoW and I've been promising to get around to it. This server is kind of a pain in the ass to install with several hoops to jump through and a custom launcher needed to play the game. I found it to be quite tedious which is why it took me so long to get around to it. Once I really dove into it though, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, so here it is. Eternal WoW has 5 realms, all Wrath of the Lich King. Redemption is an accelerated leveling experience, Remorse is a fun server, Eternal like the server's namesake is an instant AD server, and unfortunately Genesis, which is more of a traditional leveling server, was down while I was doing this review. There's also Apocalypse, which is apparently a 7x leveling rate, but since I never saw more than 3 people on it at a time, I didn't even bother. I started on Redemption, which is a highly customized server boasting a 10x leveling rate, or 10 times the experience you would have gathered in retail from quests and mob killing but also boasts a 10x gold drop rate, along with a 1x gray item, 10x white item, 9x green item, 8x blue, 7x purple, and 10x reputation gain. Good god, what a mouthful. Overall, the server functions pretty well, and since the golden item drop rates is so high, you are never going to be poor. The server also gives you a really nice 22 slot bag and 25 gold just for talking to the guy in the start zone. Alright, not too shabby. The server seems really all about convenience. You can also vote on some very cheap heirloom gear and collect an entire set in about 2 or 3 days of voting. You can take custom built portals in just about any city to any other major city, raid, or dungeon that you can imagine. You can even port to enemy cities. The latency is great and I typically hovered around 100 here on the west coast of America. I didn't experience any crashes while playing. Redemption also boasts a built-in mall for this server, which is just basically class trainers and loot vendors around the Flightmaster and Dollaran. One cool thing about these vendors though is they allow you to purchase tier 1 through 7 for gold, so if you really want to take the time and farm at level 60, you could buy tier 3, or tier 6 at level 70, and this will allow you to get some decent starter gear as well at level 80. Although you would still be responsible for getting rings, necks, belts, boots and all those other pieces. Redemption isn't without its flaws though. It has a very small population, which isn't really the server's fault, but it can make getting into groups hard. I desperately wanted to show you guys some dungeon footage, but after about an hour and a half and looking for group, I gave up. Some of the scripting is really screwy also and needs some work. This flight master attacking me from a mile away for no uh, reason for example, and this quest out in Borean Tundra where you have to put the fake fur on the traps. You have to do this very carefully and from as far away as possible. Stand too close and bam, instant death. NPC scripting needs some work also. It's mostly cosmetic, but I still found it pretty damn hilarious. Eternal is an instant 80 server and honestly these are always hit or miss for me. I actually truthfully don't like these servers that much personally because people usually pick the classes that they've never played before and then try to instantly go into dungeons or heroics where they have no idea what they are doing. Honestly though I gotta say from what I saw it's not terrible though. Eternal obviously starts you off at level 80 and it's pretty generous. You'll start out with 5000 gold and all of your talents. There are free mount vendors, gem vendors, enchant vendors, a profession tree which instantly teaches you 450 skill of any profession so you just basically walk right up to it and choose one. 
It even offers you full season PV or 7 PvP gear or tier 9.5, so you can go right into Battlegrounds, Arenas, or Ice Crown Citadel if you choose. Of course, this server also has some flaws that desperately need fixed as well. The dungeon queue system for one doesn't work. It works on Redemption, so why doesn't it work here? Maybe they were afraid that people would just grab a random class, go buy some gear, and go directly into Dungeons or Heroics. Psh, dinging max level and going right into Heroics. What do we think this is, Pandaria? Battlegrounds do pop, thankfully, but they can be pretty lopsided since, again, it's a pretty small server and doesn't always leave you with the balanced sides that you would expect. But one thing that is pretty unique is that both Horde and Alliance are basically on the same team, giving you more of a 10 on 10 match. So it kind of just throws whoever with whatever to give the most uh, balanced matches as possible, and, and that's kind of neat. I've never actually seen that before. There really isn't a whole lot to say about it. It's instant 80. It works if that's what you were after. It's not a bad server, but that just leaves one server left. Remorse, the level 255 quote unquote fun server. Oh god, are you guys seriously going to make me do this one? I would rather eat Taco Bell in a land where toilet paper doesn't exist. I would rather watch my grandfather give another man a full body sensual massage than play on a fun server. I would rather listen to a Taylor Swift CD on repeat while driving cross country. Actually, on second thought, no, I wouldn't. Fine, I'll do it, but I hope you guys get cancer. Alright, I don't, and I actually now feel bad. Remorse is a level 255 fun server that, like most other fun servers, involves grinding on huge numbers of mobs with some very stat-inflated gear. If you are familiar with my Heroes Wild Realm review, you might remember how much I complained about these leveling experiences. I only think, honestly think this one is a tiny bit better as at least you have some scenery changes as you progress through the different dungeons and you get quite a bit more gear quite a bit more often. The weapon swing speeds have also been modified so as a melee you can seriously lay down a, a white wall of damage with a typical one hander being under one second swing speeds. Luckily for me, a fan noticed me and offered to give me a leveling boost, which, thanks again dude, I seriously appreciate, and I was able to hit level uh, 255 in about 35 minutes. Once you hit level 255, expect to get ganked. A lot. Like most fun servers, they always encourage donating, but if you choose not to, I was actually really surprised by the variety of gear offered. Once you hit level 200 or so, you can run Anixia. But doing so is probably better done with several other people, as you will need to be in a raid first off to get inside the instance anyways, and second off, it is still pretty difficult to do by yourself. The weapons that drop from her though are substantially better than what you are currently using, the downside is she's also a week long reset. You can also run the Nexus to get some better gear, but again, you're probably going to need to get some friends or at least a well geared player to boost you. I tried to do it solo and didn't get very far. I came back with a second player and he basically stood around complaining about how long it was going to take after one pull. So eventually I just gave up on it altogether. There are other quests that can help you get gear such as the quest to kill Bear Grylls. I actually found this hilarious. So did the warrior with 5 million HP unfortunately who repeatedly ganked me and my partner trying to get some damn loot. At least they are open and upfront about it though. And this will, and it will even say in the message of the day, like, if you don't like getting ganked, well, we don't care. After all, though, to be fair, it is a PvP server, so I guess you should expect it. It quickly gets old, though, and by this point, I was pretty much done. Remorse does offer working battlegrounds and arenas, but I didn't try to even bother that much because, come on, at 400,000 health... I'm just going to get one shot anyways, and we won't even be able to do enough damage to kill an AFK player. All in all, these servers aren't that bad, and they're very playable, but just keep in mind, it has to be something that you're into. Fun servers cater to a very specific type of player, and just because I don't like them, doesn't mean you can't have fun on them. Hopefully you guys found this information useful, and I'll catch you guys again soon. Take it easy, Alpha out.